What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Soccer Frontier Side Quests. As you can see, we're here in Shrike. This is going to be the second to last side quest that I show off in this uh, playthrough, in this playlist. And then we'll uh, head right back into the uh, characters. Um, yeah, this is the Bio Research Lab. You could have gone here earlier, but uh, you need to be pretty strong to survive the enemies here. Uh, the enemies here are several levels uh, higher than you, usually. Yeah, you talk to the scientists and uh, they'll, they'll, they'll trigger an encounter. Trigger an encounter. So you can do two things here. One, you can, you can, you can uh, recruit a, a monster in your party. I forget how to get, but we'll do that right now. Let's see. Don't want to go there yet. There's a secret passage behind the uh, elevator there. Let's talk to this guy too. Really Begin the experiment. Yeah. So these are all enemies. They're pretty much all optional. Some of them you have to run into, but yeah. <laughs> These enemies will be really s s disgustingly powerful with this level. But, you're, you know, you have enough good stuff learned that it won't matter. <laughs> so let's take this guy down. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> I missed. I love it. I'm not going to show off this entire thing just because it would take way too long, but you'll get you'll get the gist of it. You can actually fight an optional boss uh, all the way at the bottom of this place that I will eventually show off. Uh, don't know when I'm going to do it, I'm probably just going to uh, do it off screen and, and then uh, just go do it that way. So yeah, let's see. Maybe I do want to know. See. Pick up the fight. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that leads all the way down. I don't want to do that quite yet. I will, but not now. Music in this place is eerie, man. This is how you do a secret area. You can actually uh, money farm uh, around here. This is where I would do it. You can fight bird type. Uh, no, I think uh, like like mystical type enemies uh, that give up a good amount of money yeah, to fight the mystic enemy uh, pretty early on. It gives you about 50 so credits, which is pretty nice. So. Yeah. I know I have to go somewhere, but I just forget where. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, wait, there we go. Don't want to run into any of the uh, scientists there. Oh, I just wait. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> I'm just walking around to hear the music. Yeah, no. I'm actually trying to find like where to go here. Weird. Let's see. No, it's on there. I guess I do have to go all the way downstairs. Okay. I think I have to go there first, and then uh, then then it forks out into two paths. Yeah, because here I am coming out of there. So yeah, I'll admit I'm doing this pretty blunt. Yeah, and then you can go either all the way down or all the way up. So let's go all the way up first. What the hell is this? What are you doing? Leave that thing alone, damn it. And fight some... Fight some enemies. Yeah, these are just uh, random enemies, but they're pretty cool. You got T-Walker, you got Gunbird, and a Soldier. They're... Gunbird and Soldier are pretty uh, strong uh, human-type enemies. Yeah, they can drop some pretty good stuff. And they have a lot of uh, XP, or XP, uh, credits. I don't want to take out that T-Walker first, obviously. I'm surprised the uh, Gunbird didn't uh, deflect that. 
Wow, I got a reaction shot. Interesting, I did not know it would do that. A <laughs> yeah, reaction shot is a, uh, like, deflect only with guns. <laughs> and uh, I forget what it does, I forget how much it costs, but the likeliness of it happening is really not high at all, so I wouldn't even worry about it. The fight is much more common, and it's, I think it's cheaper too, so. Yeah. Nice, took them all out, very good. Oh, I didn't get any uh, abilities, that's alright. Robots don't really learn the best abilities anyway, it's, anyways, except, uh, except what you call it, um, plural slash, that's a really good one. We got an Excel shield for that, that's pretty badass. Cotton. What the hell? So Cotton joins you, and it's, uh, Cotton's a monster, and I guess uh, Fuse knows him. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's see what that Excel shield does here. Yeah, it's just the same as uh, any other shield. Uh. We'll give it the T260 though. Yeah, it gives him more strength and uh, hit points and vitality. Can't be that bad. Now what happens if you go all the way downstairs? Oh ho oh, oh, ho. Oh. The place gets really creepy. Yeah. I'll show off a little bit of it and then uh, I'll just end this. Look at this, whoa. <laughs> Damn, yeah, it reminds me of the uh, lab in uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Let's see. Yeah, they got... Whoa, what the hell is that? Yeah, they got a whole bunch of... cool and crazy stuff here. I honestly forget where to go at this point. Oh, there we go, just go around. Okay, cool, I got it now. Nice. I think you can avoid all the encounters here if you're good enough. Oh yeah, here it is. Alright, wait, no, I think... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, you don't have to fight anybody. Let's go ahead and save before uh, doing this. Because, uh, yeah, there's a very high chance I could die against this enemy. Because it is powerful as hell. Kiss of immortality. Okay. Whoa, look at this thing, yeah. No, it's not the enemy I was talking about, but whatever. It'll work. <laughs> Alamia. Wow, okay. I didn't know they had these in this game. Huh. Yeah, it's easy enough to beat, I guess. Ooh, death grip. That does uh, life points damage. And the good old sun ray and uh, energy chain, sun chain, energy ray. Oh, come on, hit him, dick, you idiot. Huh, that didn't do anything to anybody. Another, uh, another sun chain for her. Time it was uh, Hamilton who missed. Eh. That's not what I was talking about. There's an optional boss you can fight. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna reach it before uh, ending the video. Wow, that's a lot of credits. So yeah, you can come here and credit grind if you really wanted to. Lock off. Okay. Hmm. Wonder what that is. Well, I think there's a I think there's a room. That's locked. And I just turned it off. I did not want to do that. And these enemies respawn uh, per area, so, yeah. Alright, I have to fight this guy, I guess. Yeah, it's not too powerful to do. Ice worm, huh? huh? 
Let's see. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to use a... Actually, you know what? Yeah, we'll use a... I will use Kale Slash. Why not? Cheaper than what everyone else has. I mean, yeah, it still costs five uh, weapon points, but that's alright. Wow, Gale Slash and Sunray, that's pretty crazy. And bye bye Axe Beak. Yeah. Didn't know this guy was so strong. <laughs> Take him down. Yes, nicely done. Okay, nice stats. Let's see if we can pick a weapon. Eh, we got a shell shield. See, so yeah, you can get some pretty good drops, I guess, uh, if you come here late enough in the game. Man, we're gonna fight this guy too. Weak. Whoa, a Sphinx, I think, right? Or Manticore or something? Sphinx, yeah. These are like end game level enemies that are like. that are. pretty much like they would count as mini bosses almost. I mean, if you were to just start out. Like, upon beginning a quest, like, that would be a boss. Or even the, uh, Victory Room boss would totally be one of these guys right here. Yeah. Alright, now, I think we can go... Aha! In here! Yeah! Couldn't get there before. Wait, wait, wait. Unless... Unless I'm wrong. Damn it, I hate going through these areas blind. I mean, it's not like I'm blind, but like, I, I don't, like, I, I know what I'm doing, but not really, like, yeah. It's weird, like that. Oh, okay, it was, let's say. Let's see. Aha! Here we go, yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't, uh, go in here before you had to have beaten that lame huh? Or the researcher that turns into the uh, Lamia type enemy. All right, best one. What's the best one? Uh oh. Whoa. Whole lot of shaking going on. Yeah, it's time to boss it out optionally against the. Uh, I forget this guy's name. But, good lord is he big. The Earth Dragon. Yeah, you're gonna need a lot of hit points, a lot of max cures, a lot of just everything to beat this guy. Uh, I would suggest giving two Hyper Blasters to T260. Don't worry about his defense power or anything like that. Um, yeah. I would give him the backpack because he has the most hit points. I'm, d I'm not ready to fight this guy, as you can tell. So, let's just see exactly how crazy he could, about how insane he could possibly be. Let's go ahead and uh, take him on with Fermo on Sand and I don't even have a uh, I don't even have Mega Wind Blast for Mei Ling yet, so I'm gonna have to work on getting that. He can block random attacks very easily by the way. He has a ton of hit points. I, I do not know how many hit points he has, but it's insane. He can do stuff like Gas Flame, hits all of your players for a ton of damage. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You need to be a really good stats for this. And for beating him, you get the uh, Dragon Shield, which is pretty damn good itself. So, yeah. Not the best item in the game, but whatever. Hyper Blasters are a must for this fight, I mean, because he can even block, he can even block, uh, Vermal on Sand if, uh, he can't, I mean, whenever he can, like, he can, he can block anything, like, yeah. 
the dragon shield is pretty much the same thing. You can use Quake, so make sure you have jet boots. If you don't, then, well, you're here to take some damage. But it's against this guy where combos really, really stand uh, against them. Where they, where they're really effective because combos can't be blocked. So yeah, pretty good thing to know. Man. If you run out of uh, run out of stuff, then well, do a block. Yeah, you can use this iron ball thing like five times in a row. Ridiculous. Wow, go Hamilton. Well, never mind. Yeah, it kills you instantly. You can use it a ton of times in a row. It does a, it does a psych, insane amount of damage. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Yeah. So we're about, we're about to die right here. Nice block there, Captain Hamilton for the win. Oh, it's insane. So as you can tell, this is a long fight. There you go, see? There he goes, blocking stuff. And Rude just dead. Yep. <laughs> Come on, Hamilton, you can do it. Yeah, you can use triple thrust. I don't think uh, triple thrust is blockable, to be quite honest. Yeah, but you're, good. you're just going to need a lot of stats for this. It's ridiculous. And this iron ball is just so cheap. Yeah, now we're all dead. And we're dead again. Died against the Earth Dragon. Oh well. That was fun. But can I beat him? Uh, find out. Well, whatever I do beat him. On Saga Frontier. Uh, side quests. <coughs> I'll be doing a... Next video probably on either Thursday or Friday. Depending on how quickly I can get moved into my new place and set up to do uh, videos. But yeah, so there you go. This is the big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.